Bunjlung country, this is Sunday Mass. Bishop Greg Homi. The heavens are telling the glory of God, and all creation is shouting for joy. Come dance in the forest, come play in the field, and see. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Let's begin our Mass by acknowledging our failings and our need of God's mercy. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. You are Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ of mercy. You are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Amen. And let us pray. God our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification, made known to the human race your wondrous mystery, grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith, we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Put this question to the ages that are past, that went before you, from the time God created man on earth. Was there ever a word so majestic from one end of heaven to the other. Was anything ever heard? Did ever a people hear the voice of the living God speaking from the heart of the fire as you heard it and remain alive? Has any God ventured to take to himself one nation from the midst of another by ordeals, signs, wonders, war with mighty hand and outstretched arm, by fearsome terrors, all this that the Lord God did for you before your eyes in Egypt. Understand this today, therefore, and take it to heart. The Lord is God indeed, in heaven above as on earth beneath, he and no other. Keep his laws and commandments as I give them to you today so that you and your children may prosper and live long in the land that the Lord your God gives you forever. The word of the Lord. Happy the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Happy the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. The word of the Lord is faithful and all his works to be trusted. The Lord loves justice and right and fills the earth with his love. 
Happy the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. By his word the heavens were made, by the breath of his mouth all the stars. He spoke, and they came into being. He commanded, they sprang into being. Happy the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. The Lord looks on those who revere him, on those who hope in his love, to rescue their souls from death, to keep them alive in famine. Happy the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Our soul is waiting for the Lord. The Lord is our help and our shield. May your love be upon us, O Lord, as we place all our hope in you. Happy the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Everyone moved by the Spirit is a son of God. The Spirit you received is not the spirit of slaves bringing fear into your lives again. It is a spirit of sons, and it makes us cry out, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself and our spirit bear united witness that we are children of God. And if we are children, we are heirs as well, heirs of God, and co-heirs with Christ, sharing his sufferings so as to share his glory. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The eleven disciples set out from Galilee to a mountain where Jesus had arranged to meet them. When they saw him, they fell down before him, though some hesitated. Jesus came up and spoke to them. He said to them, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore, make disciples of all nations. Baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And teach them to observe all the commands I gave you. And know that I am with you always. Yes, to the end of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. I can remember when I was a young boy growing up, I'd go to school like everyone else did, but all I wanted to do was to, be, to go back and be at home. So at the end of school, I desperately wanted to get home as fast as possible because when I got home, my mum and dad were always there. And it was a wonderful thing to be with them because of the love that they had for each other and the, with the love that they shared with me. It's in many ways made me who I am. I didn't want to get back home because I knew they were my parents. I wanted to get home because I experienced them as my parents. And the experience is very different to knowing. And what I experienced was what later for me became the foundation for me of my experience of what life is about. And it's the experience of friendship. Without friendship, without love, without this that my life began with, I wouldn't be who I am today. Today we celebrate the feast of the Most Holy Trinity. And many people will stand before you and tell you what the Holy Trinity is. It's kind of like saying to you what your parents are. But without the experience of your parents, the what of parents, in fact, is not something which you know very well. 
parents are not a biological reality, but something which you experience from the inside. Today, as I ponder Holy Trinity, my thought goes to what Trinity means in most lives. It is the experience of God and it's the experience of God which in its own way confirms us in who we are and in our experience of ourselves. Because every human being desires one thing more than anything else. You might say it's love, but love without this thing that I'm going to talk about is something which is impossible. Every human being desires friendship. And we only understand friendship by relating to each other and we have access to friendship because the Trinity is about friendship. The Trinity is about the relationship of the Father and the Son caught up and made real in the Holy Spirit. That's what we believe in, that's what we preach, but what we believe in and what we preach is open for us to experience. Because my desire for friendship, in fact, is the Father's desire in relation to his Son. Your desire for friendship is the same as the Son's desire for the Father's love. And when we experience friendship without recognising it, we are experiencing the Holy Trinity. Which is why the most horrific thing that can happen is something which is an abuse of friendship because it goes plumb against who God is. I am confirmed in who I am through friendship and who I am is expressed in who God is in the Holy Trinity. And as I come to experience the integrity and the authenticity of myself, which happens through relationships, I begin to experience who God is. I will know who God is, not as a theology, not as an idea, but I would experience God through my experience of myself. And in my experience of the Trinity, I come to know myself. The two go together. The two, in fact, judge each other. My life is judged by the life of God. And I will only understand the life of God through accessing my own authentic, loving life of relationship. And that comes down to a simple thing that I wanted when I was a child. Friendship. Every child wants it. And I discovered for myself the meaning of friendship when I came home and was with my parents you will discover the meaning of friendship when you come home and you are with God, the Holy Trinity. And as you look within yourself, you will see that, yes, that Trinity is indeed within you, not outside you. And the Trinity that is within makes your life, makes friendship, makes everything possible. And let's stand and profess our faith. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Living in the Holy Trinity, let us bring our prayers to God our Father. That the Church on earth may be drawn together to reflect the perfect unity of the Trinity, the community of divine love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that those who direct human society and frame our laws 
may submit to the commandments of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. That those who are slaves to fear may find the freedom of the sons and daughters of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. That through a new evangelization, we may bring non-believers to faith and baptism in our community. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. That all who are sick and bereaved may receive healing and acceptance through Christ and the intercession of St. Mary of the Cross. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord That our departed brothers and sisters may be raised into the glory of the Holy Trinity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord And we make these and all our prayers through Christ our Lord. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. (coughs) Sanctified by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, this oblation of our service, and by it make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, so that in confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, we might be ad- you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity in substance and their equality in majesty. And so with all the angels, we adore you as we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth. (coughs) Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. (coughs) And in a similar way when supper was ended, He took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, 
take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death. <clears throat> Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, as spouse, the blessed apostles, Saint Teresa, Saint John of the Cross, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Amen. Our Father, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. <clears throat> Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. <clears throat> Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Offer each other the sign of peace. Peace. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Grant us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, 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 worthy Lord, you should enter Lord, unto my roof. It is. 
and let us pray. May receiving this sacrament, O Lord our God, bring us health of body and soul as we confess your eternal Holy Trinity and undivided unity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And my mighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thanks be to God. Speaking.